Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Reading an HTML file from the resources folder in a Java application is a common task, especially when building web applications or desktop applications that require HTML content. Below is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to accomplish this, along with a code example. Hashtag 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 tutorial, reading an HTML file from resources in Java. Hashtag 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 prerequisites. Basic knowledge of Java and Maven slash Gradle for project management, optional. An IDE like IntelliJ IDEA, Eclipse, or any text editor. Hashtag 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 step 1, set up your project. If you're using Maven, you can create a simple Maven project. If you're not using Maven, you can just create a standard Java project. Maven project structure. Hashtag 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 step 2, create the HTML file. Create a sample HTML file in the src slash main slash resources directory. Name it sample.html and add some basic HTML content. Hashtag 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 step 3, code to read the HTML file. Now, create a Java class that will read this HTML file from the resources folder. You can use input stream to read the file. Here's a simple Java code example. Hashtag 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 explanation of the code. One class loader, the get class loader, dot get resource as stream, file name, method is used to locate the resource file within the class path. Make sure to provide the correct file name. Two buffered reader, this is used to read the input stream line by line, which is more efficient for reading text files. Three string builder, it is used to construct the final HTML content as a string. For try with resources, this statement automatically closes the input stream and buffered reader after the block is executed, which is a good practice to prevent resource leaks. Hashtag 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 step 4, run the application. Compile and run your Java application. You should see the HTML content printed in the console. Hashtag 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 conclusion. You have successfully created a Java application that reads an HTML file from the resources folder. This technique is useful for loading configuration files, templates, or any other resources needed by your application. You can further enhance this by parsing the HTML content or using it in a web view component, depending on your use case.